Hello friends, welcome to Truth of Physics. In this video, I will discuss on a very important topic, which is very much important for your uh, IIT JAM uh, examination and also for BSc examination. And this topic is very much conceptual and uh, many students uh, feel difficulty in this uh, topic. They, are, they have many doubts in this topic to understand it, this topic. And the topic is superposition of two plane polarized light and having perpendicular vibrations. Or simply, I can say what is I am going to discuss in this video that is uh, and I am first uh, saying that if this video is going to be very much larger then I am going to uh, divide it into two parts part one and part two okay so I have just stated that now what is uh, I am going to uh, discuss here suppose we have a plane polarized right like this okay like this this is a plane polarized right whose vibration is denoted here i am going to discuss everything in detail later so if we have a double refracting crystal and we have a plane polarized light fall perpendicular to its face then what happens then if we if we fall the plane polarized light right if we fall a plane polarized light the the light will propagate into the uh, through the uh, double refracting crystal what is double refracting crystal i am i will discuss that uh, so light will propagate in that crystal through that crystal and after that li when light will emerge out that crystal we can see we can we can analyze that light to be a circularly polarized light okay we can observe that the light is big be light become a circularly polarized light, or the light can become a elliptically polarized light or we can find the light to be an plane polarized light but of two different types of plane polarized light with the orientations okay i am going to discuss everything in detail now so this is very much interesting that how a plane polarized light is becoming a circularly or elliptical or a plane polarized light depending on various conditions so how the light is falling on the double refracting crystal now coming to the main topic that what is a double refracting crystal a double refracting crystal is such a crystal like uh, like there are two types of double refracting crystal one is suppose calcite calcite suppose this is our calcite this crystal is calcite the calcite is called a negative uh, crystal okay of negative crystal negative crystal means okay now what is the work of a double refracting crystal? suppose this is a double refracting crystal and light is a fall on this crystal now it have this double refracting crystal have a optic axis okay now suppose this is the optic axis now if the light is light is fall on, along the optic axis then there is no variation that is then the light will propagate through this through this crystal through this optic axis axis and after that it will emerge out this after us we we will not we cannot differentiate the light okay the incident light is same as the emergent light now but if the light is fall like this then what happens in double refracting crystal the the light is split the light is split into two parts one and the two are the vibration of these two lights is perpendicular the electric field component the vibration of the electric field component why why i'm talking of electric field component vibration we know that light have two component two vibrations light is composite of two vibrations one is electric field component and another is the magnetic field uh, component now we are talking only in in the study in the study of polarization we are talking only of electric field component why because the electric field component only uh, senses our vision okay this is only responsible for our vision the magnetic field uh, does not respond uh, does not uh, gives us the sense of vision okay now so this is these two have mutually perpendicular vibration of their electric field components now the one which who is have which have the vibration parallel to the optic axis is called the o ray suppose this is this this ray have the vibration parallel to the optic axis of this crystal then this ray this ray will be called e ray it is denoted and the another which is whose whose vibration is perpendicular to the optic axis is called the o ray o means ordinary ray and e means extraordinary ray now these two have some different properties and that is e ray 
for some crystal like calcite for calcite the e ray propagates uh, for negative crystal like calcite the velocity of o ray inside the crystal is less than the velocity of e ray and for uh, positive crystal like quartz the this thing will just be opposite okay now that this is clear i think now i am coming to the main topic now if we have a doubly reflecting crystal like calcite here you can see if we have a calcite crystal whose face whose face is like this okay this hand is denoted with uh, this hand i am denoting the calcite crystal with my hand and this is the face so light is light is coming perpendicular to its face and and this is what these lines is what these lines are these lines these parallel lines all the parallel lines are what these parallel lines are denoting the optic axis that means this is a calcite this is a calcite plate with the faces cut parallel to its optic axis okay now we have such kind of calcite crystal and light is falling perpendicularly on this okay light is falling perpendicularly on this but the electric field component of the light light is coming like this and this is this uh, why i am showing pain like this because this is denoting the electric field component the vibration of the electric field component is like this so light is falling like this and the vibration of the electric field component is like this so that is i am denoting here like this this is the vibration this thing is the vibration of the electric field component of the light now okay now i am coming to the main uh, suppose this suppose this electric field vibration is making an angle theta with the with the x axis that is parallel to the optic axis right so now let us assume that the light the equation of the plane polarized incident light and that is also monochromatic so the monochromatic plane polarized light the equation of the monochromatic plane polarized plane polarized light the uh, equation of the electric field component e vector is equals to e x i cap plus e y j cap now the e x i can write e x e o x the magnitude or the amplitude of the vibration along the x axis into sin omega t minus kz i am just excluding the minus kz part okay because it is it is the important part so i am just excluding the minus kz part so e o x sin omega t i cap plus e o y it is it is the amplitude along the y axis sin omega t j cap okay now what is this e o x and e o y i can write e o x if the main amplitude or if the resultant amplitude it have resultant amplitude suppose capital a the vibration then i can write this component a cos of theta and theta is this angle and this a sin of theta okay now what can i do so you i can also write e o x with i can for simplify i can write e o x with x suppose and e y with y for simplicity and okay not like that i'm just uh, denoting e y with b uh, and this is with a and i'm just denoting e o x with x and e y with y so e x is equals to e o x sine of omega t and this is e o y sine of omega t this is e y now think of a thing a thing think a matter that uh, when the light is propagating through this crystal the refracting crystal as there the velocity of the e ray and velocity of o ray is not the same so for a finite time suppose t after some time these two rays will travel different distances through this crystal 
right so there will be as the velocity is different so for a fixed time there will be uh, they will travel different distances the e and o ray so there is a difference uh, so there is a path difference between these two rays so as there is a path difference we know that the corresponding phase difference will be 2 pi by lambda into the path difference there will generate a corresponding phase difference between these two rays when the rays will be emerging out of this crystal so if we uh, if we want to write the equation of the emergent wave then we have to put a plus delta here right because there is an additional phase difference between the emergent rays uh, emergent rays so now we have to calculate now we have to see that what is when the two rays will emerge out this emerge out of this crystal then what will be the uh, trace of the electric field component by which we can define the uh, light that is coming out of this crystal a plane polarized light or a uh, circularly polarized light or a elliptically polarized light so we have to make that uh, equation okay so from this equation i can write uh, so ux i can denote with uh, x okay, x equals to ux means a a sin omega t sin a cos b plus cos a sin b now i can write for here from here y divided by b that is equals to sin omega t now putting this value here i can write x divided by a equals to sin omega t means so y by b cos delta plus root over 1 minus y square by b square sin delta now i can write x by a minus y by b cos delta taking it here and a whole square it 1 minus y square by b square sin square of delta so i can write x square simply paying it x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 2 x y divided by a b uh, cos of delta that is equals to sin square delta so this is the main equation okay so i am highlighting it that this is the main equation by how by which uh, we can define that the uh, emerging wave is circularly polarized or what is the state of polarization of the emergent wave the, so there can be so there will be several cases depending on the values of theta delta and theta we when we put different values of delta and theta in this equation in this equation from there we will get different equations right so for different equations means we will get different state of polarization of the emergent wave so in this way we can find that what will be the uh, state of polarization of the emergent wave depending on the value of delta and theta so in the next lecture or in the next part of this video i will discuss all the uh, cases that uh, when what will be happen so if you are new to this channel then subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon to get the notifications of that upcoming classes on various conceptual topic of physics and already in this video in this channel i have made many conceptual classes on physics so if you are new then go and check uh, the channel to watch that videos okay so take care of yourself thanks for watching